We're going to take a couple of spins of the lever and see what players come up and make some suggestions for a team for 2024. Go ahead and give it a spin there, guys. Give it a spin to see where it lands. <laughs> uh, stop. Chapman gives one a right. It is good! Matt Chapman. Okay, H. Matt Chapman. You want me to start or you want to start? You start. I think that uh, it feels like the Giants are kind of clearing the deck to add Matt Chapman. The move makes a lot of sense. Yep. Right? Played previously for Bob Melvin. Uh, they like each other a lot. Mutual admiration society. I think they'd like J.D. Davis to D.H. more and play third base less. Uh, maybe the trade they made with Seattle is a harbinger of another move, and I just feel like it makes too much sense for Matt Chapman to sign with the Giants. I think that makes a lot of sense. I'm also looking at who's playing third in Toronto. Matt Chapman. I mean, <laughs> they're, 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 it seems like they're keeping that team intact. They're trying to add a little bit, but he didn't put up the numbers they expected, but maybe he goes back there. All right, I don't think they've closed the door on that. No. Sure, let's spin it again and see, see who else comes up. We're going to try to get through as many of these as we I can. I like the San Francisco for a matchup. Let's, let's see where we go here. Uh, with a Josh Hader comes on Stop. to finish the job. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I know that Jose Alvarado is a left-handed closer type in Philly, but the last two years of the postseason is the cautionary tale for the Phillies that you can't have enough power arms in the bullpen. And for a team that is among the more generous in extending multi-year offers to veteran players, let's write another check and bring Josh Hader to Philly. I'm going with all the big boys. He's going to be in a good spot. because He's got all the big dollars fighting for him. I can see him with the Dodgers. I can see him with the Yankees. I can see him with the Phillies. I can even see him with the Mets on a long-term deal saying we're getting it together this year, but I've had you in Milwaukee. I don't see him with the Cubs. I, I just don't. I don't see that happening. I think the Cubs would rather spend whatever resources they have to bring back. Yeah, and back. plus, you know, I mean, look, he and Council, they, they had each other already, and I don't know if that's where he all of a sudden implemented I'm only throwing four people. Right. You used me too much before. I just don't see that I happening. I ain't going back to back days. But we don't know about the, those rules now. We don't know if the hater rules will exist. Like now that he's going to get paid. Yeah. He's going to get his four or five years, whatever he gets. Maybe he'll be good with going back to back days. He's not yeah, trying man. to preserve himself for a deal. It's Point being, he'll again. have a lot of, he, I shouldn't say have, he does have a lot of suitors. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Gone! A splash homer for Jock Peterson. A looper, Man. pro jock. Uh, for Jock Peterson, I usually try to draw a connection to power bats with the Brewers. I don't think I can do it because they're pretty good as far as left-handed hitting outfielders are concerned. Uh, and I know that, you know, the Mets have Nimmo, they have DJ Stewart, they've got a couple of lefty outfield slash DH types, but what about the Mets? If you're adding placeholders like Sean Manaya on a two-year deal, how about writing the check for Peterson? He could be had there in, in Flushing, Queens, hit a few homers. I like him as a Met. I like that. I like that call. But I, I I don't know why I'm stuck with the Blue Jays, but it just makes sense. Him and that Toronto lineup. All right, putting another left-handed bat, yes. replacing uh, Brandon Belt. The Absolutely. Occasional DHABs. Okay, that's not bad either. Spin it again. Okay. We're, we're just step, stepping through as many of these as we can. Boom. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Say hi to the fam. Tommy has been well-traveled. He always helps a team to the postseason. Did that in a big way with the Diamondbacks. Did that as a Ray. Where does Tommy sign this year? Take him back to Arizona. Boy, he was so good with that team. Take him back to Arizona. I know you're a fan of keeping uh, keeping guys in their previous spots. And if they played well. You know, if that hard club to argue. was doing well. Hard to argue in this case because he was really good with them. Uh, nice postseason run with the Diamondbacks, punched a few homers, and I, I, I'm endorsing that. But I'm also suggesting this. What about the Reds? And in fact, while we're at it, what if Tommy Pham and Jock Peterson sign with the Reds? And they could reunite and maybe recreate this famous fantasy football fracas from two years ago. 
when Tommy was all hacked off. Somebody owed him money in fantasy football, and then Tommy came after Mike Trout and called him a terrible fantasy football commissioner. <laughs> I'd like to see those two dudes as teammates. That is funny. Mix it up. Let's go. That one last funny. one last spin. One, although it's going to be hard to top those two guys playing fantasy football league together. Fighting over fantasy, fantasy football. Mm -hmm. Hail, hail, Michigan. They are the champions oh, of boy. If, you, if you're not just completely tired of all the Michigan hype by now, we'll hit you with one last spin. Does Coach Harbaugh go to the NFL, or does he stay in the collegiate ranks? What does he do now? I think now he can leave. You think? Yeah. I think now he can stay. See, I think now he can leave. I mean, yeah, he could. He's got it. I see your point. He could stay. Uh-huh. But he went back there to revive that place. First pitch at Wrigley. I mean, now he has the keys to the kingdom. Everything. He can do whatever he wants. You know how these college football coaches are, right? They can get away with whatever they want. a nice want. little wind-up. You know, he's bringing the heat, man. He loves this stuff. He does. Wearing the khakis and the Fidrich jersey was a, was a strong move. That was strong. In Detroit not too long now, ago. Now, the question here with him is, do you want to put up with all the portal and NIL? Who cares? He's already won one. Okay. He's never going to pay for another meal in his life. He's going to get out of every speeding and parking ticket he could ever dream of getting yep. into. He won't get suspended again. Nah. It's all, it's all good. Good. He's playing with house money for the rest of his life. Yeah. Stay in Michigan.